Kelsey. This is my channel, The Fancy Hat Lady Reads. I'm wearing one of my fancy booktube hats, and today I'm doing another booktube SFF Babbles video, this one on books to buddy read. Now you may be aware the booktube SFF Babbles are discussion prompts provided in association with the booktube SFF Awards. Anyone can join in on the topics, and I'll leave all of the information for the booktube SFF Awards and the Babbles down below. Anyhow, books to buddy read was a really hard topic for me to approach because I haven't done all that many buddy reads that I would personally consider to be particularly successful. I think for me sci-fi and fantasy novels, which are the bread and butter of my reading, are the hardest books to buddy read, which is difficult. For me a lot of the novels I pick up, and novellas, I'm counting novellas in this too, are um, I sort of expect them to be a kind of personal reading experience, and like I know that come the end of it I'll be talking about the book to the camera, but like I'll have time to, to figure out my feelings first. Not just that, I do find it really hard to regulate the speed at which I read novels. So for the majority of buddy reads where you sort of like read to a certain point and then discuss, that's really hard for me because either I'll feel like the book wants to go more slowly for me and I'll have a hard time pushing myself, or the book wants to go more quickly and I don't want to hold myself back. There are, however, a few types of books for which a buddy read can be really, really helpful for me. First, anything that like draws me out of the SFF genre, which I don't tend to do on my own, but I'm frequently happy when someone forces me to do it. Especially nonfiction, because I've discovered that left to my own devices I will almost never, um, you know, actually start and finish an entire nonfiction book. My most successful nonfiction reading in recent years has been uh, one book that I buddy read and one that was a group read. And I was really glad to have read both of those books. I enjoyed them a lot, but I, I needed a group or friend to kind of force me to do it. Nonfiction is also the sort of thing where like the pacing issue isn't really a problem and it's much easier for me to actually say yes I'm going to read the assigned chunk. However, that does not fly in this recommendations video because this is a booktube SFF babbles. Other type of book that can fall in the SFF category that I've done successful buddy reads of that I felt really good about um, is short story collections. Because of this same thing where it's easy to regulate your pace through the book to match someone else's. And also because I find it easier to discuss these, you know, little short stories um, several at a time as opposed to trying to figure out how I feel about a whole novel before I'm done with it. So my first recommendations for books that you might consider buddy reading with friends in the sci-fi and fantasy genres um, are a couple of anthologies. These are two of the Saga Press anthologies edited by Dominic Parisian and Nava Wolf. This one is The Starlit Wood, which is a collection of fairy tale retellings, and the second one is Robots vs. Fairies, which asks each of its authors to write a story and pick a side. There is a third one of these called The Mythic Dream, which I have not read yet, and unfortunately I cannot buddy read it with you, dear listener, because I do not own it yet. I did like The Starlit Wood a little better than Robots vs. Fairies. I think that is in part my sort of nerdy appreciation of smart fairy tale reworkings showing itself there, but also because I felt like the Robots vs. Fairies anthology wasn't as cohesive as a whole because some of the authors took that prompt I think in a really different way than some of the other authors. Some of them are just robot stories or just fairy stories, some of them mix the two. I think the approach of this one where each of the authors picked a fairy tale and then got to like explain their take on the fairy tale in the author's note was more interesting. However, I think these would both be great buddy reads because those these both have such a wide range of different styles of SFF storytelling in them. They both have 
both fantasy and science fiction stories, and they both have a lot of well-known authors in them. So I think they would make really good discussion pieces between people buddy reading, because some people, I think, will respond differently to the different types of stories in these books, and I think it would be interesting for people who maybe like different stories in each of these collections to sort of compare notes as they go. My next recommendation for a book to buddy read is actually books to buddy read because this is a duology. These are not short story collections, however, I think they would kind of be good to buddy read in a similar way because the structure of these is nested stories. So you could very easily read like a certain number of stories at a time, um, and it doesn't have the real flow and pacing that you associate with a novel. These are the Orphan's Tales uh, duology by Catherine M. Valenti in the Night Garden and in the Cities of Coin and Spice. I read the first book in this series as part of a group read with a Goodreads group back before I was on booktube, and I really enjoyed that experience. I think this would also be a, a good series to buddy read in part because there are a lot of world fairy tale folklore mythology elements, story elements that are used in interesting ways, and if you are the type of person who likes to like try to spot and identify that type of reference, those type of story elements that are that are taken from source material and used in new ways, in stories and books that you read, it might be fun to have two people reading who are able to spot different references and compare notes. They are also chunky and massive and can be intimidating, so if you like to use buddy reads to like get you to read intimidating books, this might be it. I should mention that Catherine M. Valenti has been doing a nearly nightly Instagram Live reading series, reading her way through these books. I don't know how far she is at this point, but those archived uh, videos are on YouTube, and I am thinking that I might want to start a quote-unquote reread of these books by trying to watch those archived videos and catch up. And then my third and last suggestion for something to buddy read, I know I don't have that many suggestions, is something that's a little bit off the wall. But hear me out, I do not hear about a lot of people buddy reading like comics and graphic novels, but I think with like a long big chunky graphic novel that could be a really great buddy reading experience because it is the sort of thing that, uh, you know, it is easy to kind of make, get your way through a large portion of it pretty quickly, harder to get stuck. Like that's a thing that holds back a lot of buddy reads when one of the buddy readers like gets stuck and is having a hard time getting past some point in the story in the book. So I'm going to recommend Digger by Ursula Vernon. I have a print copy. It is huge. This has the benefit, however, of being originally a webcomic and it is free to read online. So you don't need to go running to a bookstore. It's okay if your library isn't open. You can read this. It's on the internet. This is an anthropomorphic animal story. It's a magical quest. The main character is a super duper practical wombat named Digger. It is absolutely great. It's very emotional, full of feels. And I know a ton of people here on booktube who are huge Ursula Vernon fans, and I feel like relatively few of you guys have, have read this, and that shocks me, especially since it's online for free and it's great. Go forth, buddy up, read Digger during this pandemic. It will make you feel better. I mean, I don't guarantee that it will make you feel better, but it might. So there you have it, a very short list of recommendations from someone who is not a great buddy reader on some sci-fi and fantasy books that you might want to buddy read with someone and why. I was considering following up that list with a list of books I would like to buddy read. I kind of tore apart my bookshelves trying to figure out what books 
I would like to buddy read with people. I sort of have a tentative mental list, but it's not something that I'm willing to commit to film at this point. However, if you're curious what I sort of have on my maybe list of things that I think would make good buddy reads for me that are on my TBR, uh, leave me a comment. Anyhow, I hope you're having a nice day. That is all. Bye for now. <laughs>